hey hi everyone this is admin from admin 365 and today we are going to talk about how to perform content search in office 365 so let's get started we'll open a browser and type in office.com and sign in with the admin account you can sign in with the global admin account or compliance admin account once you are signed in, you can simply click on the admin tile or click on the app launcher and then click on the admin tile. It should open this page, which will show you all the admin centers, which your account has permissions on. Currently, I'm using a global admin, so I see all of them here. And if you don't see this option, you can simply click on show all option. And once you click on it, it will show you all the options available. And once we are on this page, we have to click on Compliance Admin Center. And you can see the URL on the top. It is compliance.microsoft.com. And in here, you will see the content search option. In case you are not able to see it here, it means that your account does not have the permissions required for it to perform a content search successfully. Uh, you can simply switch to a global admin account and then you should be able to see this option once you click on it it will ask you to create a new search a new content search. so basically a content search is a way to create a PST file of all the emails in a user mailbox without bothering the user you can simply export it and then import it or basically store it as a backup if you need so uh, once we are in this page we can simply create a new search and then export the search we will be able to create a search but for us to be able to export the search we will have to have some permissions uh, it is an additional permission even if you have a global admin role on the tenant you will still need that permissions to be active on your account to be able to export the search which you have created so uh, for that we simply have to click on the permissions tab which we see under the same compliance admin center once you click on it here you will see the roles option under microsoft purview solutions we'll click on it and here we will look for e-discovery manager you can search for it if you don't see it uh, or you can simply scroll and click on e-discovery manager and then you will have to add your account as a member to this group it is basically a role group we will simply scroll down to the bottom and then assign permission by clicking on edit here if you add your account as e-discovery administrator you will be able to see your searches as well as other searches as well but if you add yourself only as e-discovery manager you will be only able to see the cases which you create under e-discovery so i will go ahead and give the account the e-discovery administrator permissions by clicking on edit click on edit again then click on add and then search for the user and then select the user account and then click on add done and then save and uh, this permission does take some time so allow it 30 minutes at least for it to function in the backend so what we'll do is meanwhile we'll go ahead and do the content search and perform a new search from here you might ask what is the difference between the content search and the e-discovery search which we see here e-discovery search just provides us additional tools apart from content search basically in e-discovery search we can create a single case 
with a specific name and in that single case we can create multiple searches which is equivalent to your content search on a discovery you simply have to create one case and then under that case you can create as many searches as you want they both bring the same results a discovery search has an addition to a hold feature it puts the mailbox or the search content on hold in that way if the user tries to delete it it will still be retained in a separate location which would be a part of the user's mailbox but not accessible to the user uh, we will continue with the content search here to create a new content search we will simply hit on new search on the top we will give it a name and a description if you want and hit next please be informed that whenever you perform this search uh, email gets triggered to the global admins on the tenant stating that a search has been created and even when you export the search uh, email gets triggered to all the global admins on the tenant stating that a new search and export has been created on the tenant it's an alert which get triggered so uh, coming back to this once we name it we add a description we simply hit next and then we select the location you can simply turn it off uh, then we select the location where we want to perform the content search on you can choose uh, op from all the three options available here we will perform the content search on a user mailbox to retrieve all the emails in the form of PhD so once we turn on exchange we can simply select the user if you don't select the user and perform the search it will bring you a collated data of all the users on the tenant so we will simply click on choose users here and we will scroll down and select or search for the user and then select the user and hit done you will see now that one user is selected and then we will hit next and if you want to add condition you can simply add conditions from here but what we are going to do is we are going to export everything on a mailbox so we will not add any condition we will skip this page and simply hit next and you can revisit all the options which we have selected we have given it a name uh, we have disabled the sharepoint disabled public folder we have only selected one location in exchange which is this user account and we will hit submit once we hit submit it will perform a search it takes around two to five minutes for it to bring the results of the search depending on the mailbox size and once we hit done we can simply revisit the search which we have created and you should see the search is starting as a status here we'll wait for a couple of minutes here and then we should be able to export the emails which is bought us by the search found three items here and it was able to find one mailbox if you see two mailboxes here and you have only searched for one account uh, the second one is for the in place archive so if you have a user with in place archive turned on and you perform a search you will see two locations in here so uh, once the search is completed you simply have to click on actions and then export results and once you click on it it will give you an option how and what exactly you want to export uh, what i select is the first option the default option which excludes the ones which are un unrecognized format are uh, encrypted or weren't indexed for some reason uh, or if you want you can simply export all of them and then you can sort them according to your need and uh, you can create you can select one PST file for each mailbox as we have only performed on one mailbox uh, it will create one PST 
for that mailbox but if you have a archive enabled it will have a separate PhD for the archive as well and you can simply scroll down and hit export it will start the export process and it can take time depending on the size of the mailbox and as you can see a job has been created we simply have to click on ok and on the same content search page you will see the export tab here as well so once you click on the export option an export gets created and with the same name and addition to underscore export so uh, if we scroll down we should be able to see the one which we created and here it is test search we simply click on it and you can see the status the export has been completed you can start the downloading of the results basically it only had three items so it didn't took any time to export it but if you have in GBs uh, the data then it will take its time to export and uh, you will see the download results option once you see the status as completed only then click on the download results option otherwise the download result will have uh, incomplete PST so make sure that you see the status as completed and then only you download the results and to download the result you will have to use uh, Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer browser you simply have to click on download results it will download one application you have to install the application and then use the key which is provided here in that application and then provide a location where you want to download it and once you hit start it will download that particular PhD file as well to download it we will copy the export key by clicking on it multiple times and then click on download results it will ask us to install the application if you haven't installed it and uh, if you have already installed the application you will get this kind of a window we will simply click on open and it will launch the application for the people who are doing it for the first time go ahead and install it and as you can see it was not installed on this computer so it is asking us to install it here this is what you will see and we'll go ahead and install it And once it is installed completely you will see this window it is just a one-time process so if you do uh, export again you will directly see this option once you click on download results so uh, we will paste the key which we had copied from here the export key and it is unique for all all the exports so make sure that you copy the correct key and you can see the export name as well so we have copied the export key we will browse it to the location where we want it to download the PST file we will simply hit ok and then click on start And depending on the speed uh, of your internet connection once it calculates everything it will download them in the form of PhD on your computer and as you can see it had only three items 
so i think it was able to download it as well and as you can see all the three green checks we'll simply hit close and we'll go to the desktop and this is the folder which has been created we'll simply open it we'll see so we will have a couple of files here which will let us know what was the search results and what is the export summary of it as well the PST would be under exchange and here you will see the PST file you can simply store it as a backup or use it on the outlook and open it all the main folders will appear under top of the information store folder once you expand that you will see all your inbox sent items deleted items junk mail everything under top of the information store folder and there you go guys we were successfully able to create a content search and export it in the form of PST. do let me know if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and you guys have a nice day bye take care